guys, it's Sophia Costales. You can call me Sopko. I can't see. Thanks for dropping by and alam kong you click this video because you've seen the other video in a way. Thank you so much for visiting this vlog. Today I am going to hit two birds in one stone. So I'm making a makeup tutorial and I am doing an unboxing video which is this baby right here. So without further ado, I am going to start doing my makeup. Let's do this! So most of you know that I am a ballet dancer, but I am now a former ballet dancer because uh, I was hired by an Australian company to create magazines for them. And now I'm putting on makeup. Yeah, since this is a tutorial, I should like show you all my stuff. For my main foundation, I use this Dream Satin Skin with SPF 24. I'm a Maybelline girl, so. On top of it, I use this like clear smooth all-in-one two-way cake powder. And it's almost the same shade. I use the shade Honey. And always remember to clean your foam. Um, your foam sponges you say otherwise this breeds bacteria and you grow pimples been there and done that guys so clean your sponges let's try to do my brows I use an ever Lena set for my brushes there you go After I do my brows, I use a curler to curl my lashes. I have really long lashes and so I do not have a problem with applying mascara. For my mascara, I use the Lash Sensational Waterproof Mascara. It really sticks. So when I apply mascara, I normally shake my head like this for some reason I or sometimes I shake my hand like this I think my lashes are half an inch they're super natural I did not put anything no extensions even my hair I've never colored my hair usually the range of my Application for mascara varies if I go to church or if I go to a party. If I go to church, I just normally put like one, two, three, and it's done. But if I go to like an event or in a party or I don't know, in a lunch, I usually do like three minutes worth of mascaraing. <laughs> for this vlog, maybe let's go with the mascaraing. Okay, after the eyes, well the initial eyes, I put on eyeshadow. So I have this very old palette from Smashbox. I bought it back in 2013. And they're still okay. Medyo paubos na, pero habang meron pa, push. Habang meron pang ibubuga, go lang ng go. So I really love the brush of the Smashbox palette. I use this end for the matte finish and I use this one for the glittery finish. So let's try a natural look today. So a little bit of glitter but not too much and more on the matte side. Just use this. It's a powder. I don't know what it's called. Loose powder? No. Not really a loose powder. But it's the lightest powder I have. So I'm just gonna use a brush. And I'm going to put it under. 
sort of like baking, baking without an oven. an arch, like a fake arch. Not really a fake arch, but it enhances the eye. So I'm doing my smoky eyes. So the trick is just to like do this with your arm. It works. It applies evenly, especially for matte eyeshadow. If you do it at the top, you should also do it at the bottom so your eyes just opens. I still want some more. I could maybe put glitter on top of it. Another trick is the same brush I use for my eyes, I also use for my nose. I am going to dab a bit of the light brown matte and I'm going to dab my nose. So I am now going to use a bit of this super light foundation powder that I have and I put it on the top of my nose bridge. I blend it out with the same brush I use for my nose line. So your white crayons, you should definitely keep them. So if that happens right there, take the sponge, dab it a bit, just to make it look natural. Ganan! Let's put some false eyelashes. I'm excited. So this is how I apply. Ready? I use my fingers. this all the time. So after the policies, we go with the contour and the cheeks. For the contour, I normally use not really an angled brush, but it's a thicker brush than the one I baked my face on. So this is one trick that I've learned. Because in ballet before, when we go backstage, it's really tight. And we have like 7 to 10 dancers per dressing room. And you could just imagine all of our makeup everywhere. So the technique is to have as less makeup as possible. So what we do for our contour is also our eyeshadow palette. So the browns in my eyes, I also use for contour. And I just do this with this brush. And then I'm just gonna cover the whole brush. Then I do this with my cheeks. Sometimes when we are in a hurry, we don't hold the brush like this. We hold it. Wait for it. We hold it like this. Like literally like this. And we just shove it in there. Just shove it in there. And then just do this. See how quick that is? And then for my cheeks, I just use Caroline. I don't really use expensive makeup because I don't, I can't afford it. Well, I can afford it, but I just prefer local, local brands. I normally use a peachy tone for my cheeks, and I recently have this ColourPop. It's really old. It's what I use for almost all of my vlogs. Um, I need to buy a new one. It's the Echo Park from Colourpop. I'm sure you're familiar with it if you are good with makeup or if you are a makeup lover, a lippy lover.
Okay, I'm gonna use my glasses now. So that's a wrap. Thank you so much for watching this video and for tuning into my channel. And it really means so much to me that I have so many interactions in my YouTube channel. It is overwhelming at times. And I'd like to give a shout out to this YouTube Bloggers PH group because all of the best YouTubers are in there. Hands down. Thank you so much for the support you've been giving me. And if you want to watch me unbox this package straight from Amazon, just click on this video box right here. I'm editing a lot of videos right now and I'll just post them everywhere here. <laughs> like snippets of them. Okay, so that is all. Thanks guys. Bye!